we're going to continue on with a subscribe a new subscriber question and once again if you have any questions comments things like that please do a video response to any of the videos leave a comment below or you can send me an email um, if you go on my YouTube homepage, you will be able to see my email addresses. You can send me email questions, different things like that that you want me to answer, talk about, uh, put up for open dialogue. In any video that I do, it is open for dialogue. You can dialogue all you want, okay? Uh, as long as you're respectful and you're not uh, not only respectful to the people that's uh, looking at the video and comedy, respectful to me, but most importantly, respectful to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, okay? So uh, let me go ahead and get right into this video. I don't want to take up any more time. And I'm going to go ahead and read the question. And it says, Hi, Lady Lovely Locks. First off, let me say I enjoy your YouTube videos. You give excellent advice. If you have the time, I have a question that I hope you are willing to help me with. I am, I am 30 years old and single. But after years of trial and error, I think I finally found my future husband. Or maybe he found me. He is not perfect, but he has about 90% of the qualities that I want in a man. We are practically in love with each other. The only thing is he's 44 years old. Do you think that is too much of an age gap? Please give me and others who may be in a similar situation your view on this. Thanks in advance. Okay? So, first of all, let me say great question and thank you for emailing me that and also asking me to uh, do a video about it to share it with um, all those who are going to look at this video, okay? Uh, I say it's a great question because I've been there in your shoes um, um, and I've dated, you, you say you're 30, he's 44, so he's a 14 year, there's a 14 year gap there and me myself, I've dated someone well now I'm not I want I'm not even gonna say dated I was entertaining someone to see if it was even a possible uh, for a relationship there okay so it wasn't in a dating stage we were just really getting to know each other but um, in that um, I found out that he was uh, uh, um, uh, yeah older actually it was greater than the 14 year gap okay so and I had a whole lot of questions okay so that's why I really like this question because I'm able to be real and I'm able to give you my uh, honest thoughts that came about when I found out um, uh, so initially we began to talk I didn't know his age he didn't know my age and um, after that first conversation he asked me how old I was I asked him how old he was and I thought he said 30 something which was fine to me but he really said 40 something okay and I was like oh whoa okay and he said well is that going to be a problem for you different things like that and initially I said even though it took me back for a minute I because he didn't look his age um, I said, well, let's just see what the Lord has to say, and uh, as we continue to get to know each other, let's just see what happens, okay? We'll pray about it, and let's just see. I don't want to close the doors on something when I really don't know uh, the exact answer right now, okay? So, uh, as I begin to pray and different things like that, um, I begin to get to know him, and lo and behold, actually, we had a lot in common, even though he was older than me. We have so much in common. We could talk for hours at hand, okay? But some of the questions that came to mind was, first of all, you know, as we continue to get older, uh, let's say we get married, uh, about kids. You know, as he gets older, since he has such a, a, a big age gap there, will the kids have a father when they get older? That was one of the questions. What about as we get older, he gets older, his health deteriorates and different things like that. What about that? Also, another question in my mind was, will he die before I will? So I will have to be a widow at a certain age and I'll have to go through that. Um, let me see some more questions was uh, even though you know it really doesn't matter but some of the questions was what will people say? What will my family say? What would this person say? What would that person say? So um, these are questions as I say even him getting older you know um, if I'm 40 you know and uh, he'll be 60 or if I'm 60 he'll be 80 you know so so you know looking at that those were some very those were some very important questions to me that um, that uh, was raised okay um, now what I learned from that experience it didn't work out you know as we got to know each other we uh, you know some as we jumped as I told someone else we jumped over that age hurdle and then I ran smack dead smack dead into a wall so we jumped over the age hurdle but then bam smack dead into a wall and that was one wall that I said no we're gonna have to just be brothers and sisters in Christ on this point okay 
questions that was trying to, you know, overcome me, like fear and stuff like that. Some of the things I uh, wrote down, you know, well, not wrote down, but I thought about in order for those questions, as far, especially as far as the age thing. Well, what about the kids? Will they have a father when he gets older and different things like that? What if he dies and all this stuff? And I said, um, you can die at any time. Check the news. Check the newspaper. People are leaving up out of here left and right. 20 years old, 30 years old, teenagers, children's babies, older, young, it doesn't matter. It just depends on your time, okay? When the Lord says your time is up, it's up, okay? And uh, so you never know. So you never know. So you can't live for tomorrow. You have to, as far as uh, as far as that, you have to live for today. What do you have now? You, you have... You have this day, and then tomorrow you have that day. You can't say, well, 20 years, when I get 60, is he going to be here? You don't even know if you're going to be here. So enjoy the time that you have. So that's one of the things that um, helped me when I was thinking about those questions. Enjoy today because tomorrow is not promised, okay? Um, and don't be enslaved by other people's opinions. Do you. Pray about it. Seek the Lord. If the Lord says go, if you have wise counsel, the Bible says in the, there is safety in the multitude of counsel. Now, we're talking about wise counselors, not haters, not girl. I no, we're not talking about that. We're talking about wise counsel. If you have wise counsel and the Lord is telling you be, to be at peace, be at peace and go forward, okay? Um, and, if you, and if you have, uh, you're thinking about his health and or her health and all this stuff, just remember, I'm sorry, I keep looking at my eye because it's uh it's something in there that's bothering me um when you think about the health you think about your vows for sickness and in health to death do its part so you can be the two can be healthy and healthy and then the car accident the next day and the person is paralyzed for the rest of their life so you so even in those things you still remember those vows to sickness and in health to, so it can happen at any point it doesn't, just because the age doesn't have anything to do with it as i said you see young people all the time in wheelchairs they, or they don't have all their body parts, different things like that. So you have to um, um, be thankful for what you have now and, and enjoy today. And don't fear tomorrow because he who holds the future uh, holds our hands and he knows and he, and, we, and he will be there. Which whatever we go through, he's there, okay? Um, so as long as you go in with your eyes wide open, you know, knowing that certain things may happen, certain things may not happen, and the Lord's giving you peace and everything, go forward, enjoy. You said he's 90% of, uh, of everything that you want. That's good. That's a good percentage, okay? That's a good percentage, especially if the foundation and all those different things were there. The important traits, that's good. The rest of this stuff is that's none that's really that's really wants but not needs. We we can work on those things together, baby. As we grow old with each other, we can work on those things. Which you don't like something about me, no problem. No problem. Because I want to please you. You want to please me. You don't like the way I dress, no problem. I'll put something else on for you. You know, you don't like my hair to the side, no problem. I'll put it up in a ponytail. For you what else you want me to do you know that's what that's what that's what love does okay love does indeed changes you it doesn't it doesn't have to change you who you who the core of you but there are top there are there love should change you just like Christ loves for us changes us changes us from the inside and out it makes us want to serve him it makes us want to love him for the rest of our life never say never you don't know what okay you can always have your list and all this stuff which is fine but at the end of the day put it before the Lord okay put it at his feet the Lord knows you better than you know yourself he knows what you need more than you know what you need so why don't you put it all in the Lord's hands okay because you can you can go by age and miss out on a good thing because you well he well he is too old or she is too old or she is this and that and that you know we can miss out on some things when we go to the word of God we don't see anything in there um, it's telling you, you know, you cannot date someone older than you, okay? There's nothing in there. As a matter of fact, we see some of the people of the Bible, um, they, they did marry um, people that was older than them or younger than them. And um, we're not talking about, you know, pedophile young, okay? We're talking about um, grown, age of le legal age, and, and, uh, and beyond, okay? So... I want to say never say never, okay? You just never know. You can do all this, girl, I would never do this, and man, I would never, man, I would never date nobody like that. 
And then someone come in your life and you say, I would never do that. And you end up clicking, hitting it off and everything. And you throw all those limitations out of the window. You know, those limitations that really is neither here or there. We're not talking about the foundation limitations where we got to, both of us got to know Jesus Christ. We got to have the same relationship. We got to run after him, chase after him. We have to be growing up in the Lord, pursuing holiness, um, living for the Lord. We're not talking about those. Those are non-negotiable. Age is really, it's really not a big issue, you know, um, and it's to each its own. It's to each its own as far as what you can deal with, your maturity level, what do you have in common um, versus just natural stuff between a man and a woman like, you know, we can jump into bed with each other, ooh, which you shouldn't be jumping into bed until you're married, uh, you know, those things, all that stuff, uh, that's just natural, okay? You So we shouldn't be focusing on those. What are the other things? What do we have in common? Do we love being around each other? Can we see each other? Can we see uh, growing old with each other? Can we uh, look down the line and, and what if this happened? What if this person never changed? Will I continue to love this person? Will I continue to want to um, be with them? Thank you again for the, um, the question. And all those who have questions, look on my YouTube profile and uh, find me on there, my email address. You can also find my Facebook page on there if you want to add me as a friend. God bless you, and I'll see you next time.